All right, so the new Americanized live action Death Note movie just released today. And all I could really say is, what the hell happened? All right, just like in the film, this is going to be a quick review. Don't know what I mean? Well, you soon will. To start things off, let's talk about what's good with this adaption. And well, personally, I really like the aesthetic of everything. The dark tone is ripped straight from the original anime, but there is also elements of a neo-noir style, which if you are a fan of Adam Wingard's past projects, will feel very familiar. Along with the synth soundtrack, it's nothing short of a contemporary 80s film, with a darker flair to it. Next up, the cinematography. It's not perfect, but again, it's that Wingard flair that I have come to know. Many dynamic shots, along with crazy editing to give the viewer a feeling of unease or tension. But I must admit, this is definitely not for everyone. And it will feel like most of the time it's just there for flash, and not meant to build towards the plot. But again, if you're into the flashiness, it works. Next, let's move on to the characters. A huge character, L, is played by Lakeith Stansfield, and other than me being a huge fan of his other work, I'm happy to say that with the little he has given here, he is incredible. But for any fan of the original work, he is a far cry of his original version. Next up, Willem Dafoe as Ryuk. He was born for this role, and I personally really liked his design. But to be quite honest, the CGI is kind of meh, but he's usually in the dark so it really doesn't matter. But yeah, you can't get better casting than that. Alright, now with that all out of the way, let's talk about the rest of this adaption and how it seriously drops the ball. Since we're still in the characters, let's continue with the main ones. Mia, the Americanized version of Misamani, does a great job of portraying the character. Again, despite the differences, the version is pretty spot on, tone-wise. But the major issue with her is her involvement in the main story. Mostly her intentions for going along with Light's plan, which in the end ruins more than just her character. And finally, let's talk about the main character, Light. Light is pretty bland here. And it's not the actor Nat Wolf's fault. Sure, he doesn't seem like such a great fit for the role in the first place, but the character is just horribly written. While it tries to pay homage to the original, it just becomes a caricature. Now, one thing I want to go back on in one element of the aesthetic is that it's very gory, but in the worst way possible. Gore should be used to give some scenes impact. Unless, of course, if it's overused. Then it just becomes a spectacle, which is why gorehounds exist. But here it's used in very randomly put areas, and it's honestly just distracting. Now finally, let's move on to the plot. No spoilers here for anyone who hasn't seen the film or the original anime, so do not worry. But I will say this, the pacing is a mess. Just the idea of putting the entire Death Note anime in a single 100 minute movie is insane. I mean, there is no room to set up any type of character for Light, other than he's a kid in high school, and now he has a Death Note. That is the basic setup of the plot. The rest is pretty much what happens after he has given this great power, and how it all goes wrong. Ultimately though, what should have been a great film about the dangers of power and corruption becomes a twisted dark high school romance movie. For those unfamiliar to the original series, it is not the same story. But to fans, it's a hardcore bastardization of this source material. Well, let's review. And yeah, now, trying to be as impartial as possible here, the movies, as a standalone movie, is pretty decent. It's not great nor really good for that matter, but it's not terrible. I mean, it has good aesthetic, and, you know, for the whole dark uh, high school romantic plot, it's not bad. But since it has the Death Note moniker tied to it, it is just a huge misfire. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's an Americanized version. If you want to watch, you know, Japanese actors, just go watch the live-action Japanese Death Note movies. Here, the writing is what really destroys this. I mean, it's so freaking weirdly done. I mean, it's it's like it's made for Death Note fans, but at the same time, it's meant to piss off Death Note fans. It's just, you know what? It's it's. Just, I'm, I'm gonna make a spoiler talk. I mean, I usually don't even make those, but here I'm gonna make an exception because this is just so terrible. I just want to point out all the shit they messed up on and all the problems they just created with the element. They just ruined the plot. That's all I'm gonna say. As a Death Note fan, avoid this at all costs. This movie is a piece of shit. <sighs> but yeah, if you want to learn more or want to hear more about this, just watch my spoiler talk video. But for now, that's it. Just, if you're on the fence, don't watch this. Save yourself some time and literally just go watch the freaking anime again. It's a real piece of crap. 
But yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> and I'll see you guys later.